night. So we just wrapped up filming uh, elbow rotation class that sort of offers some progression from your basic elbow capsule car. And um, the, the big theme that I connect with this material is really the idea of kind of preparing or expanding a joint workspace and then training into it. Um, so the examples that the material in this class is a lot of what I will use before I go to do some heavier strength training like rows or pull-ups where I'm actually using lots of joints together. Uh, what I find is that if my elbow joint, which has historically been a problem for me, is a little bit more effective, then those pull-ups or those rows uh, are a lot more effective for my whole body. Um, so that kind of dynamic, I thought we would just talk through a little bit and um, uh, give some examples about how this particular focus can actually have some uh, bigger effects on your body. I guess I'm first just curious, Hannah just took the class. <laughs> what felt experience are you having at this point? Like, What do your elbows feel like after the class? They feel sort of like looser, freer, freer. I would say. Mm. Freer for sure. Um, and I think the big thing that I want to lift up from being inside it is just to really normalize that one elbow will be quite different from the other. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm right-handed. I probably hold my phone more in my right hand. Mm. I could really feel a difference in my rotational range of motion from one side to the other. Also different lines of tension mm. as we were finding the stretching part. So just want to lift up that as you're going through this, we, we really mostly are doing one side at a time. There's a few drills where we're doing both together. Um, let it be different. Seek out that stretched range of motion on one side. Don't try to mimic what your other side did. Neither one is right. It just is mm -hmm. what you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's a great uh, kind of segue to the the you know logic behind trying to maximize what you have at each joint and then going into strength training. Um, I guess part of why I say this is because sometimes people do it the opposite. They go, I'm going to do my, my intense strength training mm -hmm. and then I'm going to work on my joints. And the problem there is, you know, take Hannah's example. One elbow was significantly less functional than the other elbow. Mm -hmm. But if she's doing like a TRX row that uses both arms, mm -hmm. like your body's just going to make use of whatever you've got. So if on the other hand, you could increase the amount of function at that slightly more compromised joint, then when you go to do that full body row, you actually are kind of talking to a lot more tissue and therefore getting a lot more effective training. Yeah, for sure. The other thing that you'll notice as you go through the class is like when we do our first set of elbow capsule cars, there might not be a ton mm. of sensation in terms of what's contracting to do which rotation. Yeah. When we came back to those after doing the pails and rails, it was like, oh, that stuff does this, this stuff does that. You have this really clear felt sensation, which totally a temporary window of opportunity yeah. where your nervous system is like, oh, I know where those elbow tissues are. But if you do that and then train, like Will was saying, in your bigger strength training movements, all of those tissues are ready to come to the party and they're going to participate in that. Whereas... They won't necessarily if you can't like if you if you can't feel it you can't use it generally totally yeah and I think you know the common experience I've had in teaching this material is kind of like the wait we're doing this much focus on just my elbow because <laughs> like people don't really just train their elbows very yeah. much yeah. Um, but the payoff is like we keep talking about it's like it actually has an impact in the whole chain when you go to uh, do those bigger strength training tasks or honestly like all the regular movements of our life use multiple joints together. So um, big time. it's just sort of that big lesson of like focusing small can have these much more global impacts. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Coming back to just that initial position yep. that we used in the beginning. Oh, yeah. I was way more aware of my shoulders in the last bit than I was in the beginning without having to think about it. Right? I didn't have to be like, okay, scaps down, scaps down. It was just like, oh, hey. I have more flow of awareness and connectivity for these joints. The system was working better. That's yeah. key. Which is our goal for you. Yes. So uh, again, let us know how this lands for you, what sensations you're feeling, what questions come up. It is bound to change a bit as you repeat this material. Mm -hmm. So we want to definitely dig in with you there and guide how that goes. See you soon.